Hello YouTube world, pretend farmer here. Not a real farmer, just pretending. I recently had a subscriber compliment me on the fence that I did for my pig pen that technically no longer exists, but they wanted to know how I made the gate for that pen. And while I did a video about how I did bracing of the corners and made the fence and all that stuff, I didn't really focus on the gate. So I thought I'd do a video for them on how to make a basic garden gate or gate for whatever you want. Now I built this thing out of one by six lumber. We got the severe weather, which means they're pressure treated. They're meant to be outside in the elements. Now, depending on whether you want to be able to drive maybe a small tractor through your gate, or maybe you just want it to be just big enough for a person, the width of your gate might vary on your preferences. So you simply cut one, two, three, four boards the exact same length, and that will determine your width. Well, then obviously for your height, you're going to cut one, two of these boards, and there you got the framework for your gate done. First of all, we drilled holes and put bolts where each of the boards joined together. On the corners, I sort of catty-cornered two bolts. Going down the sides, I just have one bolt. Pass through on the back side, there's washers and nuts. This really allows you to draw the stuff together really tight and really make a good firm fit. They're less likely to pull loose than nails or screws. We were using the T-Post hinge mount kit that we bought off of Amazon, and we got these little hinge brackets off of Lowe's, the gate literally just sat right down and rested on the brackets. It swung really good, nice and smooth. You probably want to pre-drill these holes because as you can see, the wood is pretty thin and I actually did crack it a little bit there. But yeah, pre-drill a pilot hole should keep it from splitting open and you can mount your hinges right on there. Of course, we put an eye bolt here for a latch on the top. And since our pigs like to root and take their snouts to try and pry the bottom open, we did one down there as well. Now on the back side, we took some staples and some garden fence, and we cut the garden fence with tin snips to fit perfectly as a little panel. If you wanted to, you could screen the whole gate in like that if you wanted to make sure that nothing jumped through the middle part. So if you want a rustic look to your gate, before you stain it, be sure and take a torch and just kind of run over it to give it this little bit of a rustic burnt look. Check this out. Maybe you just want a little bit of accent to the grooves in the wood. No matter your preference, you just use your torch, heat to your desired appearance, and then you stain over it and it'll look real good when it gets finished up. You're so clever, pretend farmer. There you have it. We're going to get a nice medium color stain and put on this gate. It's seasoned now. It should absorb it real nice. And it'll have a cool looking rustic look to it when we get it done and it'll make a great gate for whatever we decide to repurpose it for here on the pretend farm well there you be i hope this video has helped you out in designing and building your gate for whatever it is you need a gate for uh, now probably what you're thinking is pretend farmer where'd you get the hardware for that thing pretend farmer is going to post a link in the description for both lowe's and amazon to show you where i bought the hinges and the other hardware for in order to be able to hang this gate on a t-post i'm not going to leave you in the dark and i don't get a commission for that i'm just trying to help out till next time this is the pretend farmer signing out